Today, we are going to take a look at seven new features in Microsoft Loop that you need to try now. Hi, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. Here we are in Microsoft Loop, and the first feature is improvement for sharing a workspace with a group of people via a link. So let's head on up to this share button on the top right corner and select workspace. Previously, we would have to invite them individually by name or email via this box here, which you can still do. But the new feature is the ability to generate a link that can then be shared with a group of people for them to access this workspace. So let's go ahead and select copy link and see this full circle. Once you've copied the link, then you can share it within an email, within Microsoft Teams, or even add it to a training manual. Here we are in a browser under Mike's login, and as soon as he clicks on that link, then he is going to be redirected to this page to let him know that a request has been sent for him to access the workspace. Once a request has been submitted, then we will need to approve those requests. So you will need to, once again, head on up to that share button, and select workspace. From here, you'll see a new area pop up, which in our case is pending members, brackets one. So this will indicate the number of people that would like to join this workspace. So you can go through and individually accept them. Or if you have a lot of people, then you can simply select accept all to approve access to that workspace. And this is just a great way to streamline adding people to your workspaces. The second feature is an ability to show and tell within a loop page. So let's go ahead and select forward slash and search for record video. Once you have granted permissions, this record a video pop up will appear. And from this video area, you have the option to select a camera as well as a microphone. You could even just record audio if you wanted to do that. But in our case, I want to go ahead and do a screen recording. I'm going to select record screen. And then once again, we just need to move forward with the prompts and then select a screen to record. In my case, I want to record my entire screen. And let's go ahead and select this video of Rue as we are testing out the Trendy Dog Beach Merch line. From here, we will simply select share. And once you have finished recording your piece, then we can simply go ahead and select stop recording. From here, we have a couple of options. So you can go ahead and download your recording to your desktop. You can play it to see if you are happy with it, or you can even trim it or record again. I'm quite happy with this. So let's go ahead and select add. Once your video has completed processing, it will be stored as a stream component within the loop page. So this is a great way for you to share, watch and collaborate without leaving the loop platform. The third feature is the ability to create custom templates from loop pages. And at Amy's Animal Shop, we have created this custom page within loop and we want to use this as a template for other pages. So from the left navigation menu, we can select the ellipses. And then the thing that we are looking for is this save page as template. It, this window will then pop up. You can give it a fun icon as well as a name and then just simply select save as template. When you want to use that template, you can navigate to this plus icon and select new page. And at the bottom here, Microsoft Loop has a ton of fun and jazzy templates that you can easily select here. But the one that we are looking for is going to be in this template gallery. And you'll see at the top that we have one template under this Amy's Animal Shop workspace. So let's go ahead and select that template. This will then give us a preview of that page that we just created a template from. And we can simply select use template. The fourth feature is how we can do more with loop content using the new print and PDF export command. So from the top of this page, we can select the ellipses and then go print and PDF export. Alternatively, as we all love a good shortcut, we can simply go control P and this will bring up the print window where you can export to PDF or select your own preferred printer. Now that we've taken a look at some general features, let's dive into some progressive features for tables so that you can navigate your data like a pro. 
The fifth feature is a board view for tables or a task list. So for the task list, we have this little menu at the top of the task list. And on this left hand side, we see switch view. So if we select that, then we can change it from a table view to a board view. And we can see here how the board view is just a great way to visualize your data. Now for a table, we have a similar menu at the top, but if we select switch view, then you might notice that your board view is grayed out and that's because we need to add a label column to enable the switch. So we can right click into any cell and go insert column. Let's go ahead and add a column with a label to the right. And then from the header of the new column, we can select the drop down caret and change this column type to a label. There are some predefined options here, so I'm gonna go ahead and select the priority. Once you have added your column labels, then we can now go ahead and select the switch view, and we can now easily change this table view to a board view, once again, providing that great way to visualize your data. The sixth feature is the ability to open detail view within tables, which is a great way to harmonize all of your data into one area, but without cluttering this table. So if we hover over any of the cells in this first column here, then we will notice this open detail view. When we click on that, then it brings up these cards, which are so amazing because at the top here, you will see all of those columns that are within your table, providing you with that snapshot of all of that key information. But if you want to add additional information, then from the bottom here, we can add notes, comments, or other related content. So you can click in here and start to type any text, but I want to add an image of Rue wearing this dog life vest. And if we press forward slash, then that items list appears with all of those juicy components that we can add to a loop page. Let's go ahead and search for image. And then we can simply select the image that we want to add. And here we can see that photo of Rue testing out that life vest on a paddle board. In board view, we have a similar experience. So we can hover over any card, select this icon to open in detailed view, or as a little tip, we can simply double click a card. This will then expand and open that details view. We can just see how this is such a nice way to add more details to our tables without cluttering them. The seventh feature is how we have the ability to comment on specific cells within a table. So let's go ahead and right click within this dog life vest cell, and we will see this new option here, which is the ability to add a new comment. I'm going to go ahead and add Mike, so that he will be notified about this comment, and I want to ask him what he thinks about this image. To send the comment, I will simply press enter. Now, the great thing about this feature is that we can comment on specific cells. So if you want to add a comment to this specific cell and then this cell within the same item, then as a shortcut key, we can press Control Shift F2 and that add a comment window will appear. And if you are enjoying this video, then I would absolutely love it if you could please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Here we are within Mike's email and he has been notified about this comment. And the great thing about these comments is that Mike can respond to this comment without leaving his email by simply hovering over this comment icon and selecting it. And he can just simply add a reply and then press enter. Back in loop, we can select this comment icon to view Mike's response. And if we select anywhere in this comment card, then we will see an ellipses appear for additional action items, such as editing your comment, copying your comment, or deleting your comment. And one thing that I find super helpful is this copy your comment thread, which will copy all of the conversations about this item so that you can easily share conversations about items in other applications, such as emails or Microsoft Teams. In board view, we have a similar experience and we can see those two comments for this dog life vest item. Let's expand this card by selecting it and we will see these little comment threads appear on the right hand side. And as a little bonus tip, if you want to learn about task list 
integrations and notifications, then I would highly recommend this video right here as it is going to answer all of your questions. Also, since you've made it this far, why not let me know in the comments below what your favorite Microsoft Loop feature is? All right, we'll see you in the next video.